All right, welcome back. <sighs> time to run again. Come on, Clem, no time to pass out. Get up, get up. Come on, come on, Clem. Run, run, run. Come on, Clem. Come on. Come on, come on. Talk about good luck. I'm out. Grab her. Let's go. Come on, kid. We gotta get. I think... I think we're safe. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. Hey, you all right? I can walk. Oh, was that so? Because last time I saw you, you could barely crawl away from that lurker back there. Look, you're in bad shape, kid. What are you doing out here? Where are the, uh, the people you're with? There's no chance you made it this long on your own. I don't want them thinking we're doing anything but trying to help you. My friend and I got attacked. Hmm. These folks mention what they were after? They might have just wanted food. We were cooking some sort of weasel. They attacked you for a weasel? Damn. That is low. They didn't mention any names, right? They weren't searching for anybody? Hmm. Well, I'm Luke, and this is Pete. Hey there. Hi. I'm Clementine. It's nice to meet you, Clementine. Now for now, we're gonna take you back to our group. Okay, we got a doctor with us, and you look like you could use some- Oh, shit! <laughs> yeah, what yeah, saw that she's, coming. She's been bit, man. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. What are we gonna do here? No, it was a dog. I didn't see any dog, Clementine. Come on, kid. The dog did it. We just saw you with those lurkers back there. I can't remember the last time I saw a dog. No, no, just look at it, please. <laughs> yeah, and have you sink your teeth into Pete's neck? No way. My neck? Why am I the one? Because I don't know a dog bite from a mosquito bite from a lurker bite. Huh. It's not. Let's see it. Whoa, 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 hey, watch yourself. Hey, don't look at me like that. You're the one that's bit here, okay? It's 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 funny how quickly someone could turn on you. See? Is it uh is it like she says? Hmm. Well, it could be a dog. Hard to say. So where'd this dog go? The one that did this. Now, what what does that matter, Pete? Seriously. I I killed it. What? Really? A dog shows up and bites you and you just kill it? What would you have done? I don't know. It attacked me. Still, you don't... You don't kill dogs. I didn't want to. Plus it was suffering, so... Clementine? Yes? You telling us the truth? You looked me in the eyes when you answered. Yes. All right, Clementine. That's good enough for me. Well, what else was she going to say? I've got a good bullshit detector, Luke. That's why you can never beat me at poker. <laughs> <laughs> you don't always beat me at. All right, how can you be sure? 
Well, I'm sure I ain't willing to leave a little girl in the woods to die when we got a doctor with us that can make a call. We can have Carlos take a look at it first. Nick ain't gonna like this. Not with what happened. You don't have to remind me of that, boy. Right. Sorry, sir. Come on. Clementine, are you feeling all right? I'm fine. Just tired. Well, you better be fine, because I ain't carrying you anymore with that bite on your arm. Don't worry about... Clementine... Yeah. Passing out, really not a good option right now. Now what? I have no idea. <laughs> I really don't. She already told us that she and her friend were attacked. Then she was bitten by a dog. What? And you just believed her? You should have put her out of her misery right there. Dog bite my ass. I need a dog. <gasps> Keep your finger off the trigger, boy. Whoa! Whoa! What, what the fuck? You idiot! What the hell is wrong with these people? Five miles probably hurt. You're the one that. telling me to fucking shoot her. Everybody, just calm down for a second. Clementine, you okay? I just need a doctor, and then and then I'll go. I don't want my arm to get infected. None of us want to get infected. That's the point. We got a doctor right here. Okay, he'll have a look. Now, what the hell is wrong with you people? Okay, she's just scared. We're all scared, Luke. Don't act like we're the ones being irrational because we don't buy this bullshit story. No way she survived out here on her own. Why are we even arguing about this? Let me take a look. <sighs> it's okay. Go ahead, he's a doctor. The hurt. Hmm. Whatever it was, it got you good. This isn't how we do things, man. When you're bit, you get put down. End of story. I'm not going through this again. No one's suggesting that. We could take her arm off. <gasps> Whoa, no, 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 no. Nope. Nope. Uh, I know that worked for a cousin down in Ainsworth. We could try that. It won't do any good. You'll just be making it worse for the girl. It's crazy. No one's going to volunteer to do that. I would, if it means saving her life. Then what? How would we know it worked? Just let Carlos have a look first. Sad eyes. <laughs> Come on. She weighs about as much as a sack of flour. Take her if it comes to that. Who's she? Sarah, what I say, stay inside. I don't mean to be any trouble. I just want to stop the bleeding and then I'll go. You'll never see me again, I promise. And where exactly would you go? I can take care of myself. Clearly. Look, I don't know what the hell took a bite out of her, but still, she's just a kid. Worst case, she turns. We can deal with it. <sighs> so, what do you think? Was it a lurker? A bite like that could be anything. Only one way to find out. How? Oh. We wait. What? By tomorrow morning, if the fever set in, we'll know if she's gonna turn. In the meantime, we can lock her in the shed. That doesn't make any sense. What about my arm? 
It needs to get cleaned and, and stitched and bandaged. The girl is in bad shape, Carlos. But we have all that stuff inside the cabin. We could probably get by with it. please. But, yeah, we can't do nothing. I'm not wasting supplies on a lurker bite. Turns out you're telling the truth. I'll clean it and stitch it up for you in the morning. But... That doesn't make any sense. I'm sorry. It's the best we're gonna get. Finger off the trigger, son. I ain't your son. Don't be like that, man. It's alright. Boy's got his mom's temper. Come on. But... If the bite gut gets infected, of course she'll Just get a fever. You'll see her. And when she turns, I ain't gonna be the one cleaning up the ship. My arm really hurts. I don't know what to tell you except hold out the best you can. We'll see what we can do in the morning. If I make it until then, maybe you could get me some supplies? I wish I could. I really do, but it's too risky. Sorry. Locked up, they won't let me out. Do, do, they won't let me out. I'm locked up. Because it's safer this way, and I'd rather be sure. Yeah. Uh, I can't believe this. You're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. Still can't believe the friggin' dog bit me. Isn't there something about n not biting the hand that feeds you? Well, technically he bit my arm, but, you know, still. Yeah. Nothing. Not much left in here. I guess if I have to, I can use this for stitches. Yeah. I don't know how effective that would be, but you know. Need a hammer. Is there a hammer? We need something. And we got a hammer. <coughs> ah. Yeah, that has to hit. Yeah, I felt that one, honey. Hammer always makes a good weapon.
Not very secure, is it? So we're going to like run away. Now, I'm no doctor, but wouldn't a human bite look a little more, I don't know, smaller and a little more roundish? But hey, what do I know, right? We have a doctor. He's gotta have stuff for stitches. Shh, be quiet. So we're gonna ninja away in the house. Find a way into the cabin to obtain a needle, peroxide, and some bandages. Needle, peroxide, and bandages. Alright. Let's see what's in here. Let's peep through the window. Peep! It makes me feel like a fucking idiot when we're not on the same page. Language! We're on the same page. Not out there, we weren't. Not about the girl. I saw you get soft. What do you want me to do, Rick? Put a bullet in her? I want you to think about our family first. It's all I think about. So don't give me any shit. I need some air. She coming outside. What the hell are you doing? I... I need your help. Me? No. I'm sorry, but I can't do nothing. Please. I need to fix my arm. Are you out of your mind? Even if you ain't bitten by some lurker, which you probably are, you can't be here. You gotta get out of here, you understand? Get back into that shed and Carlos will take care of you in the morning. I'm sorry I bothered you. You should be. I don't have anyone who will help me. Come on now, don't get upset. Don't get like that. I'm serious. You need to get out of here. I saw when everyone was arguing. You wanted to help. You didn't see anything. Look, you gotta get out of here before my wife finds you. I'm serious. You gotta go. I got enough problems already. I got a baby on the way. Rebecca's all emotional. I got a mess of hormones causing all sorts of trouble. Please help. Please. Don't cry. I'm not gonna cry. I'm just... tired. You're not with Carver. No. And you didn't get bit by a dead person. No. I won't forget that you helped me. I bet you won't. Promise. I'm screwed if anyone finds out I did this. You understand? The bu the cut on my arm needs to be cleaned and stitched. Stitched? I ain't doing that. I'll figure it out on my own. All right, look. I don't know what I can find. Or show them bandages, but I might be able to find something clean that will work. I need something to clean it out with. And a needle and thread could help, too. I don't even know where to look. Carlos has medical supplies on lockdown. We don't got much these days. Well, whatever you can get, I'll find the rest on my own. Here. Cool. So we got him to help us. Unless he's just gonna backstab us right now and bring everyone. I found you some bandages. And I uh I got you a juice box in case you're thirsty. Oh she got a juice box. Thank you. Alvin, house meeting in five minutes. Oh, okay, thanks. Now you need to go. Alright, we got we got a juice box, some bandages. Doing pretty good. Need a needle and peroxide. Can't go there. Oh, look at your arm. 
Walking through the front door. Yeah, we're not that stupid. Well. Yeah, we're not that stupid either. We'll get a bullet in our heads. There has to be like a, a ladder or something. Uh, but actually, it's a good place to cut off. So, thank you for watching everyone. And I will see you all in the next video.